Hey, welcome back to Prototype Studio tutorial and in this video we're going to learn basic condition in the Prototype Studio. Condition is like the statement. If you have the data, you will get what you want. But if you don't have the data, you, you wouldn't get what you want. So it's like when the data is available so you can access it but if your password is wrong you cannot log in into your account so it's like the condition so now i'm going to show you the basic of condition is not advanced so it's the very very basic condition in the protopie studio now we're going to create new pi p p p so i have a question how to pronounce p p or pi because I'm not really sure how to pronounce this application. <laughs> okay, so we're going to create rectangle for the background. Yeah, always background. This is for the big background, and I will create the oval for the buttons. So the background, I want to change the color to the white asphalt, and this button should be green. Okay. So we have basic basic interaction of design here. So this only shapes rectangle and the oval. And here, the condition is about. Uh, if you want to create the condition, you should create an event first. So we're going to add trigger with the tap button. Okay. So whenever I tap the button, this button should be changed the scale maybe or change the move i will going to move i will make it to the top maybe 150 okay now i'm going to preview okay it's working and i want to make it slowly maybe two seconds and preview again shoot all right so the condition right now the but the button is with the position 150y in the top so we here to create new condition so the condition is if the oval 1 and the property is y and the value is like we did before 150 so here 150 so if the button y position is 150 we need to change this color to the white okay and change this duration to one second and preview again now the button position is still 120 sorry it's still 200 so when i click here it's moved to 150 and when i click it changed the color to the white okay because the condition is true okay so what if the move i change it to the 100 only but the condition is still 150 so i think it doesn't working so we click here and we type again yeah as you can see here it doesn't working properly like we expect before because the move is only 100 but the condition is 150 so you need 50 again to to uh, to run this uh, color to change the color you need to 50 y position again and we just need to change it to the 50 so it's gonna be 150 now we're going to preview again and i'm going to tap it and tap it and I think I will create another, maybe just change the color for the background and I will change it to the red color with the duration is 4 seconds we click here so currently the condition is true, okay so I think the background should be change the color and the button change to the white so we click here yeah 
it's working properly very nice so this is how the condition working in the protopy studio maybe in the next time that i can figure out how to create the advanced condition in this protopy studio to make maybe it's like your login your account into the send up sorry into the send in screen but your password is incorrect so we can get the notification okay but if your password is correct so we can go to the another screen well thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and share it to your friends so nice to meet you from indonesia goodbye